Hey everyone, oh, it's me again, and today it's going to be a little collection video that I've been wanting to do, and today I'll be showing you all my Marvel Cinematic Universe films that I have on DVD, which I have all 20 films right here. Now, this was a video that I did last night, but it was failed to upload, so let's hope this gets uploaded. Now, I am going to tell you what I think of each movie, like what's my opinion on them. And I'm doing this as a little honor for the next Marvel movies. We have Captain Marvel, which is still playing in cinemas right now, which I have seen in cinemas back in last week. We also have the next film, Endgame, which is coming April 26th next month, which I'm really, really, really looking forward to. And we also have Spider Man Far From Home, which is coming July 5th of this year, which I'm really excited about. As you see, now, now I have all 20 films, so I'm going to start off them when they got released. So let's start. Next up we have the one that started it all, Iron Man. And I don't think I'm going to be bothered with quick views. Yep. And this is a great movie about Iron Man. There it is, front. Spied. And this film is made by... Paramount because this is back when Mo when they got this is back when they got the rights to Marvel Spine in the back yep this is a great movie indeed and there's the disc next up we have Incredible Hulk with Edward Norton yep this is not a bad movie at all a monster of a movie since loaded. Yep. Spine. And this is the only Marvel movie to be made by Universal because they don't because they own the rights to the Hulk character. Back. Yep. So here's the disc. Which uh which I think this is the only Marvel movie to have full artwork in the UK. Yeah, not a bad movie though. Next up we have Iron Man 2 to the 2009, uh, no, 2010 sequel to Iron Man 2. I always thought this was from 2009. Yep. Yep, and this is the only, and this is the first Marvel movie to introduce Black Widow. Spine. At the back. Yep. Yeah, this is a yeah, this is actually quite a good sequel. I mean, it's not as great as the first Iron Man, but this is still quite a good one. Anyway, here's the disc. Yep. And I do know some of these, uh, yeah, but some of these papers or these films are in bad condition. Yep, they go on Iron Man too. Next up, we have four. Oh, yep, pretty good film. Bide. Sorry. Back. Yep. And it does say the studio that brought you Iber. And this movie is said. Uh, never mind. Yep. It's this, which is on these crappy seafood discs, which I don't really like at all. Yeah, I got this from CX. Yep. Not bad. Great movie though. Next up we have Captain America the First Avenger, which I guess you can still simply call it Captain America. Yep. Yeah, this is actually quite a good film. Yep. The assembly begins. As it says. Sure. Uh, and we have the next movie, which I'll show in a bit. Yep. Here's the disc. And this was the final Marvel movie to be distributed by Paramount. Next up we have, like I said, The Avengers! Which, even though it's called Avengers Assemble, but I guess you can still simply call it The Avengers. Yep, this is a really awesome movie. My favorite movie out of Phase 1. Yep. 
is the this and it does come with a few adverts which I'm probably not gonna go through. Yeah, really good movie. Next up we have Iron Man 3, which is the final Iron Man movie in the trilogy. Spine. At the back. Yep, this is a really, really good finale. Yep. Sorry. It's the disc. Yeah, really good finale. And this was the last movie with Disney teaming up with Marvel. Which I'll show in a bit. Next up we have Ford the Dark World, which comes in these, which this and Age of Ultra are the only ones I have in these types of collectible slip covers. Yep. Spine, and this is the first Marvel movie not to be coached by Paramount with Disney by itself. Spine. Back, because on, if you watch the film, it just opens with the Marvel logo by itself, and that's all. Yep. There's the actual case, which is basically the original release. Here's the disc, and there's a little crack on the case, but it, but you know, it's still fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna put my camera down for this. It is kind of hard doing it with one hand. Yeah, that's up we have Captain America the Winter Soldier. Which is which I which is a which I think which I like a lot better than the original Captain America. Yep. And here's the desk. That's up we have Guardians of the Galaxy, my favorite Marvel movie out of phase two. Yeah, really, really good film. And great as well. Yep. Disc. Next up we have Avengers Age of Ultron, which I, again, only have this in this collectible slipcover. Yeah, I know it's a little bad. Yep. Damn it. Sorry. Oh, there's the actual case. Oh, sorry. Here's the disc. Yeah, I'm gonna put my camera down for a second. Yeah, they go on Age of Ultron. That's up is the first ever Marvel Cinematic Universe movie I saw in the cinema. Ant-Man. Yeah, but I saw this back in 2013 with my dad, brother, uncle and cousin. So this is actually quite a good film. And I did rewatch it and this is still quite a good film. Yep. And here's the disc. Next up we have Captain America Civil War. Yep. Spied. Back. Yep, this is a really, really good movie. Here's the disc. Next up we have Doctor Strange. Yeah, this is a phenomenal film. Here's the disc. Next up we have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, which this movie is just as great as the original. Here's the disc. And this up is the second ever, second Marvel movie I ever saw in the cinema, Spider-Man Homecoming. 
Yeah, I saw this on my birthday back in July 5th, 2017, because this movie came out in the UK on July 5th. Yep, and this is a great, great, great movie. This is one of my favorite movies from 2017. And I'm probably my, and this is probably my third favorite Spider-Man movie. Yep. Here's the disc, which I can wear, and that's the disc, like I said. Even though Incredible Hulk has full artwork, and even though this one shouldn't really count as artwork, but it does have Spider-Man's face, so I guess I can still call it artwork. And if, as you know, this movie is, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this film was the, this film was actually distributed by uh, Sony because they own the rights to the Spider-Man character. Yeah, Spider-Man Homecoming is a great, great movie. I really can't wait for the sequel, Far From Home. So that is Homecoming. Next up we have the final Marvel movie I did not see in the cinema. For Ragnarok. Yep. Yep, did not, yeah, final, this was the final Marvel movie I did not see in the cinema. Here's the disc, and this is actually a really funny movie, definitely, definitely the best movie in the four trilogy, so that is, or, Ragnarok. Yeah, next up we have the third Marvel movie I saw in the cinema, Black Panther. Yeah, so starting with, so, so starting with Spider-Man Homecoming and Black Panther, I'm going to be seeing every single new Marvel movie that comes out in the cinema. Yeah, but this is a really, really, and this is a fantastic film. I saw fantastic film. I think I'm call, this is actually my favorite Marvel movie for now until, until I decide if I want to call Avengers Endgame my favorite Marvel movie. The Spide. And the back, yep. Here's the disc. Yeah, really good movie. That's what we have. Avengers A uh, Avengers Infinity War. Yep. Saw this in the cinemas back in April last year. This was an amazing movie. I mean, I was annoyed by the cliffhanger. Oh, for this movie when it first came out, but this is still a really good movie. Spine. And the back, yep. Still an amazing movie though. Here's the disc. Yeah, I am super, 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 super excited for Avengers Endgame. So that is Avengers Infinity War. And this is the and the last Marvel movie for now is Ant Man and the Wasp. Yep, I saw this in the cinemas back in August, and this is actually quite a funny sequel. Yep, here's the disc. Yeah, give me a second. Anyway, that was all my Marvel Semi Gearbox films that I have on DVD. And before I end this video, I'll probably tell you what I think of. Ca and the next Marvel movies are Captain Marvel, Avenge Homecoming, like I said. And Captain Marvel, I did saw last week. And Captain Marvel wasn't a bad movie at all. And I am 100% excited for Avengers Endgame. And I am really looking forward to Spider Man Far From Home. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little collection video that I decide to do and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.